In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Epson EcoTank ET2400 to your Windows PC computer. And I'll also show you how to print and also how to use the scanner using the Wi-Fi so the files goes directly into your computer. Let's get started right away. So on your PC, you need to go on the Epson website. I'll put a link in the description to this specific page so you don't have to find it. This is the link, but I guess just click on the link I provided. Then what we need to do is to download the driver for this printer for your Windows computer. So you're going to go down on this page and here it says, please choose an OS tap on this and choose your Windows version. In my case, it's Windows 10 32 bits. I'll click on it and then press go. Wait about 20 seconds. The page will refresh and then we can go down again and uh, the driver should appear here. Just wait. Okay, perfect. Now you can download the drivers and utilities combo package installer press download and then open the file that just got downloaded. So this is the file. I will double click to launch it. By the way, press yes here. Press OK if you see this. Press accept. Press next. Then select I finish filling the ink tanks. I hope you did. So <laughs> press next. Then you're going to have this page. Make sure that connected via wireless network Wi-Fi is selected and press the next button once. Then it will tell us to go on the printer and press the Wi-Fi button until both of these lights are flashing. So let's do what they just told us. That's our printer. And if your printer has been connected to another Wi-Fi previously, and you want to reset the Wi-Fi before doing what they just showed us, you need to press this I button and this power button both for about five seconds, then the lights will flash, wait about a minute, and your Wi-Fi will be reset, ready to continue the setup the way they tell you. So uh, do this in case you have already connected your printer to another Wi-Fi network and you want to disconnect it from that network. So let's do what they showed us. So press the Wi-Fi button during five seconds until these lights start flashing. Okay, then release the button. The printer is now in pairing mode. Let's go back on the computer. Press the next button. And now just wait. Once you get this screen, select the first option then press next. On this page, I suggest you keep scanner utilities checked. Manuals, you can uncheck it. We don't need manuals and you'll probably never read them. And then Epson Photo Plus as well, just uncheck it. Then press install. Then they will ask us to print a test page, but you're not obligated to do so. I think it's mostly a waste of uh, ink. So just press next or you can print it if you want. It just uh, doesn't gonna do anything different. Here you can uncheck this. Remind me about Epson extended service plan before my warranty expire. They will just try to sell you something. And I don't think most people want that. So press next. And now uh, the setup is done, but they force us to click on finish and register. It will open a web page that you can close right away unless you want to register your uh, printer, but you're not obligated. And honestly, it doesn't change anything. OK, great. Uh, so now the printer has been paired with your Windows computer. Let me show you how to print something and also how to scan. So if you want to print any documents, go ahead and open it on your PC. Let's say I want to print this over here. So what I'll do is select the print button. Make sure that under printer on top, your Epson ET2400 series is selected. And then what's important is that you select the right paper type. If you're going to print on a glossy paper, like a picture, you absolutely need to select glossy in this settings. And to do so, you need to go into properties. 
and over here paper type select glossy if you're going to print on glossy if you're going to print on plain paper like i'll do just in a few seconds just leave it plain paper otherwise obviously you can modify any other settings but i won't do anything because they are pretty okay with what i want to print now take your stack of paper and make sure you have some inserted in the back of the printer extend this tray over here and now we're going to press the print button perfect so this is how you print any document by the way this printer does not have the duplex uh, printing option which means you cannot print on both sides you'll need to switch this manually put it back again to print on the other side if you want to do so let me show you how to use the scanner so to scan you're going to open this lid take your document place it facing down with the top part of the document you see this is the top part on the right side then you're going to notice there's an arrow on this corner you need to bring the uh, corner of the paper right touching the arrow this is how you know that the paper is aligned close this lid on your pc computer we install we already installed the scan program that you need to use the scanner go into the start button here then in the program you have installed in just a few minutes ago you should find Epson over here or maybe it's Epson software and you should open Epson scan this will open and make sure your scanner is the Epson ET2400 series so the first thing is resolution if you're gonna scan a picture or something you need the maximum details press on uh, resolution and select the highest number it will take a while to scan uh, this is my only warning if you choose 1200 dpi it may take over 15 minutes so this is why you should only choose a higher resolution when you absolutely need it if you're scanning a text document or just like you see a text with some very light graphics 200 240 is plenty for this kind of task so I'll select 200 then the other thing you need to modify here is the image format if you're scanning a picture i suggest you choose jpeg if you're scanning a text document choose pdf and finally file name you can modify this file name if it's not something you like at the end press the scan button wait a few seconds and the scan will go in the folder you chose over here by default is the document folder but you can change that and a window will open showing you in the folder where your document went mine is over here and here we go this is the scan we just did so i hope this was useful if so please leave a like comment down below subscribe and i'll see you in the next video